Hey guys, this is Caribou Hunter 64 yet again bringing you a video. This one I will be bringing you in an attempt to emulate another famous YouTuber's video series in which he challenges himself and others to get a nuke with every gun in Modern Warfare 2. And this has actually proven to be a source of a lot of fun for me within this game. So, uh, the weapon that we're using today is the MG4. And actually, before I even start with that, I would like to go ahead and thank iPone Star for Hire. His channel is giving, you know, a lot of people opportunities with this whole nuke thing. And it's definitely helped my channel a, a small amount. And I just wanted to say how thankful and grateful I am because uh, it's clear that Pone has a channel in which people interact and where he's having fun and he encourages other people to have fun playing video games and I th really think that's what it's all about and so Pone I just want to say thanks you're doing a lot of good things for a lot of little youtubers and I appreciate it and you can see that I pick up the multi kill that's um I'm starting to kind of like feel like that I'm becoming more of an M uh, not an MLG LMG player uh, because I really dig like having more ammo like right there I could not have gotten a four piece if I had a, like a scar or something it just wouldn't happen I mean I'm using a, a totally lame example because the scar has a tiny clip but um, and well, there's actually two hose migrations in this game but because I have an LMG I'm able to just spray all four of those guys down and get a multi kill but uh, yeah that's why I'm becoming more of an LMG guy I think of course it makes you slower but that's one of the things you give up and this is kind of a long game play. Uh, I do get the nuke. It takes me uh, not even close to the full amount of time. So the nuke video is probably about five minutes. The rest of the video is me trying to uh, either get a high score or get a double nuke, see whatever I could do. Because uh, all the while I was playing this game, I was thinking that this game was running really smoothly. Uh, I was able to kill people really easily. So if you're in a flow, you don't really want to just cut that short so I just kept going and this is ground war domination on salvage is the second ground war dom game that I'm gonna post on this <clears throat> and I found that uh, it's really pretty easy to get high scoring games on ground war domination on this map because it seems like people just funnel through certain areas and you don't have any problem killing them uh, so I've been thinking a lot about modern warfare 3 and uh, Call of Duty in general because you know I'm really hoping for sort of a reinvention of Call of Duty when uh, they move forward with the Call of Duty games. Like when we're going right now to Modern Warfare 3, I would like to see new perks, a kill streak setup that is fair. I I don't know if I'd like to see the nuke back. I don't know. I think if they do bring it back, maybe even make it a higher kill streak because I mean people can achieve a 25 kill streak with you know the kill streaks that come before it like a Harrier and AC-130 easily. So, if they either make them, I want the kill streaks to be stackable, but uh, I don't know. I think that maybe they should move it down to two kill streaks because I don't know. It just seems like getting a Harrier and AC-130 and then a nuke is pretty easy. So, not incredibly easy. I know there's people that can't do it, but uh, yeah, it's not that difficult. And so, make the kill streaks balanced. I don't think a nuke is really balanced. It's definitely not the most valuable kill streak, but uh, yeah. But I think they got to get rid of stuff like uh, Last Stand, any martyrdom or anything like that uh, to just go. I think Last Stand is probably the thing that uh, is giving the game the most aids right now. So get rid of Last Stand completely. Uh, the kill streaks could down, go down to two, but <coughs> I also don't think it's completely necessary. Uh, I think that uh, I would put this LMG as maybe the third best in the game because I really like the uh, I like the AUG and I like the RPD I think the RPD is probably the best it took the least amount of time to get a nuke with I don't know if that means it's the best but it's really it's really really in my opinion easy to get good games with that gun it's it's really not very hard um, and like I was saying, you know, my my uh, my play style is a rusher. So, uh, in theory, you wouldn't think that LMG would be the best way to go for me. But uh, since using them, I found that uh, rushing can be combined with finding 
a location that you'd like to hold down and holding it down like you can see here i'm getting up here to uh, stop them from getting to be and you know running through from where those tunnels are behind me like it's uh off in the between c and a area but uh yeah you can you can rush around like see i'm gonna move forward here and move up on this guy but uh i'm just keeping my area held down because that's really what i want to do is just keep an area on lock because this gun is going to keep you semi-stationary just because uh, they, they make you move slow, so you're at an extreme disadvantage when you are moving around. But uh, I think that the optimal first perk is sleight of hand on any LMG because it's going to help you aim down the sight quickly. And when you're either, you know, um, coming out of running or like uh, just just trying to get the sight on a person, the LMG takes I think maybe a little longer to pull up. So sleight of hand is going to help you big time with aiming down the sight and it's going to help you reload really fast which is one of the issues with using an LMG you're going to have to wait a long time for it to reload but if you slap slide a hand on most LMGs it doesn't take that much longer than you know just a regular assault rifle uh, so yeah the LMGs are good I really like them um, I'm really excited about new games that are coming out not just Modern Warfare 3 but like you know Battlefield and I know Prototype 2 is coming out E3 just happened I didn't get a chance to check it out that much. I've been really busy. I've been working, and like yesterday, I was too tired to even finish doing this video. I had the, I got this uh, gameplay about, I'd say, 30 minutes after I watched iPhone's, uh, yeah, iPhone Star for Hire's video, uh, doing the MG4 nuke, and so it it wasn't for lack of gameplay that I'm posting today. It's just. Uh, I couldn't get around to it because I literally passed out yesterday. I was just so tired from work, and I didn't get enough sleep the night before that my whole family was at my house, but I just couldn't stay awake, so that's the deal. But uh, also one thing that I'm kind of addressing myself is should I stick around to see what Call of Duty does? Because uh, realistically, I haven't been that satisfied with the way the games have turned out. Uh, in the long haul because of the community and I'm not blaming uh, the makers of the Call of Duty games that much even though they have part to do with it but there's it's just uh, the community in Call of Duty is so ridiculous and there's like I don't know with each person that plays it there's a total lack of consideration for the rest of the gamers that are online everyone just wants to be lame to everyone everyone just wants to be an asshole and you know scream into their mic just to annoy people and you know uh use grenade launchers you know in extreme excess i mean people just want to do whatever they can to frustrate the other players and they don't care about anything else and that my friend is the downfall of call of duty so should we be moving to a different game i really don't know but um that's sort of the situation i've been kind of trying to think about a little bit but Again, I don't know myself. Uh, I would encourage you guys to try out new games. I don't know what multiplayer games would be great to switch to. I've heard that Homefront is really good. I've heard that it's really fun and having big teams makes it a lot different uh, game than Call of Duty. So that's something I would like to try out if I got a chance. I don't really have the opportunity to do so now. But uh, I do have Black Ops. If anyone wants to play some Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2, they can hit me up any time on this video or, um, you know, send me a message on YouTube, send me a message on uh, Xbox Live. My gamer tag is the same as my YouTube account, so just go and hit me up and uh, I'll be glad to play with you guys. And um, I hope you guys can come check out my channel. Uh, some of the things you'll find there is just like, you know, me interacting with people who have comments. I'm going to try and give tips in the videos some. Uh, I'm going to keep bringing Beast gameplays as fast as I can, you know. I'll be putting up clips, I'll be working on editing, and, you know, if I get around to it, there might be some vlogs in there somewhere, or, you know, I don't know. There's plenty to do, though. I will never have uh, have a shortage of things that I can do on YouTube. It's just, uh, it matters mostly, depends mostly on my energy to do so, or my time availability to do sh to do so. So, uh, there are a lot of super mo superhero movies coming out, and, like, you know, X-Men, you know, Green Lantern's coming out, Batman, Thor, Deadpool is coming out soon, before too long, I think, anyway. 
but I wanted to ask you guys, what zero super uh, superhero superpower would you want to have? Uh, and I thought about this long and hard, and it really didn't take me that long to come up with my final decision, even though I thought about it after I came to my final decision, that invisibility would be the best to have. Um, you guys let me know uh, if you oppose this or if you would like to, you know, say that another superpower would be better. But uh, invisibility is just, like, awesome. Nobody can see. You can sneak up around people. You can see what your friends are doing. You can, like... I don't know, you can just do any sort of ridiculous stuff that you would want to do. <coughs> you can play <clears throat> endless pranks on people, you can, you know, screw around with cops, you can do whatever. It'd just be fun. It would be freaking awesome. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, this whole YouTube thing is spawning, like, you know, a lot of uh, weird energy, and uh, because because people are receiving semi stardom from it uh is at least as far as youtube goes um there's uh, a lot of thought about money but uh you know i'm really happy to see that there's still players that aren't you know fully about the money you know this has always been for fun for me and that's what you're always going to find from my channel and uh there'll be no uh energy of that kind like as far as argumentativeness or anything so uh it's just about having fun for me, and I'm going to try and do, like, a video a day if time allows. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I've got my nuke called in. The final score is 87 and 10. I hope you guys got a chance to, you know, get a look at my channel and everything. And if you liked what you guys saw as far as this gameplay or my commentary or my style, just come and see me. And uh, I will talk to you guys all that I can, and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.